Only on 12, leading schools during times of turmoil. Among the jobs that became more difficult during this pandemic, school superintendent, the tired, burnt out, and quitting at a higher rate than normal. In our ongoing series, Learning Curve, Joe Dana reports on the unprecedented challenges that they face. Tension. Stop being hateful to each other. Personal attacks. You are lying to the citizens of this state. We've seen a lot at school board meetings during this pandemic as districts are plunged into debates about COVID safety and curriculums. It took a toll. Retired Superintendent Camille Castile had a front row seat in her district. I used to enjoy school board meetings. You know, you'd focus on issues and what we need to do to help children. And all of a sudden they became battlegrounds where school boards and superintendents are hiring police to keep the peace. Castile completed 50 years of service in Chandler Unified, 25 as superintendent. The vast majority of parents are very, very supportive. A high school is even named after her. This respected leader acknowledges that trying to steer the district through the pandemic was not the primary factor, but played a role in her decision to retire. All of a sudden we're dealing with national issues and state issues and you know, all the problems of the world. How stressful was that for you when you would go <laughs> home at night? Um, well, it was within 10 days of retirement, I slept, I didn't have a knot in my stomach, <laughs> and I didn't cry anymore, so. In Arizona, there was an average of 24 annual superintendent vacancies during the two years before the pandemic, and an average of 31 annual vacancies the last two years, a pandemic increase of 29%. An association that oversees administrators says most superintendents who left their positions the last two years didn't have the luxury to make the decision on their own, like Castile. Instead, they were forced out by public pressure and school boards. When you're dealing with thousands of lives, the pressure is on. Trying to apply all the mandates, the recommendations, information that changes regularly. You know, it's a tough place to be. Castile hopes parents think twice before they jump to conclusions about school leaders. These individuals are well-intentioned. Whether it relates to COVID or curriculums. And say, maybe I ought to just fact check something I've read online or heard from a neighbor or heard in the grocery store before I react and give them the benefit of the doubt. In Chandler, Joe Dana, 12 News.